Today's video is going to be based on you never buying filter cartridges again. Uh, the reason filter cartridges are a waste of money is because they last about two months long and you throw them away and you're throwing away all your awesome bacteria in your filter pad that have grown over the past couple of months and when you throw it away it's a complete waste. So instead of buying filter cartridges what you want to do is find the right foam pad and it takes a while to do this and I've done all the research for you all you got to do is buy this foam pad on Amazon for $12 I believe it is it's a big huge foam pad and yes it's a prime product and as you can see here this stuff is super thick and this is 30 PPM foam. This is the same stuff that is in the AquaClear 110 and AquaClear filters. And the reason why the AquaClears are so amazing is because of this sponge. Whereas all of the cheaper line hang on the back filters aren't as good, it's because you're throwing away the filter padding. And what makes the AquaClear so good is that filter pad. And this is exactly that stuff. Don't mind the cat post here. I'm in the storage room instead of the fish room. Um, the lighting is a little low in there. I had one of the bulbs burn out on me today. Long story. Anyways, this padding is great. This is a massive piece. I think it's like 20 by 15 inches. And it is a prime product. And this stuff's a lifesaver. I'm going to cut this up and throw it in a lot of my penguin um, marine land filters with the bio wheels. And uh, basically what I do is I fit it to cut and I shove it in there and I just, I let it run and run for a month or two. Then I take it out, squeeze it, throw it back in, or squeeze it in some water to clean it exactly like you would a sponge filter. This is also why sponge filters are amazing. This is essentially the same thing you want in your hang on the back filter. And any filter that comes with crappy cheap cartridge filter pads that you have to throw away, you need to supplement this with this foam. Um, I'll show you what this looks like going into the filter. I'm gonna cut the piece up and show you what it looks like going into a Penguin 200 filter. <sighs> Sorry, I've been doing a lot of work in the fish room. Short on breath. I'm pumped up today. I got a, uh, a new Surrender Jack Dempsey from Petco. Got a lot going on. I had a fish die in another tank and it just uh, put havoc on the water. I think it's been two days since I got to the water, so I'm doing it. I just did a complete water change. The fish are freaking out. I'm freaking out. Uh, those are my Texas cichlids. Some of my favorite fish right now. Anyhow, I'm gonna cut this up and throw it in the filter. Let's switch around the camera here and. All right, so here's the piece of foam I cut. As you can see, this is pretty porous foam. This is the piece that I cut to fit in the Penguin 200. And uh, let's go slide it in here. Sorry about the lighting. Here's the filter. It's fairly dark over here, sorry, sorry. Basically, I ram it in here. Let me grab this light. There's some light. That's what it looks like in the filter. These sponges are ridiculously amazing. By the way, there's a link in the description box. I do this with all of my hang on the back filters because the filter padding sucks in these things. The cartridges, who wants to buy a filter pad you continuously throw away and rebuy to just throw away all that good bacteria? All right, guys. Uh, yeah, comment in the comment in the comment section. Um, my surrender Jack Dempsey is in here. Look for future vids. I'm gonna wrap this up. I'm gonna be cutting foam. All right, cool, cool. There, there's the Jack. No, that's not the Jack. All right, that's another video. I can't get distracted. Uh, yeah, I'm ending it here.